everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We're back at Disneyland. Yes, today we're going to be doing more holiday merch, more winter merch. Yeah. Uh, pretty much everything that's new, doing a Disneyland merch search. Yeah. We're going shopping. We're hitting up a few of our favorite stores. We're also going to go check out Main Street. That's kind of like the central location, the heart of Disneyland, where we do most of our shopping. True. You haven't seen the tree yet either. No, I haven't seen the tree. Gonna take a look at the old tree. I can't wait. I just love the holidays here at Disneyland. It is, it, it's something else. The weather gets cooler, and we're gonna show you all the fun things you need to have if you're coming during the holiday and winter season to Disneyland. That's right. Let's uh, let's go check out Star Trader first. We're over in Tomorrowland. We took the monorail in. We figured, let's just start here in the heart of Tomorrowland. Star Trader has some new stuff. Yeah, it's a really good store. They yeah. seem to always have some good stuff. So uh, let's go and check that out. All right, as we said, Star Trader, and one of the funnest things about Star Trader to me... The droids. The droids. Is, is it because you want to try and buy them? Uh, I've always wanted to have my own R2 or C-3PO, uh, especially R2. <laughs> this is a merch page. He says, I am not for sale. Uh, okay. He says... No, he says... <laughs> Oh, wow. But I guess that translates to, this is a merch search, right? Yes. Okay. Listen. Something Katie always likes to point out, by the way. Every is the, time. The number on the case. Opening date of Disneyland. There it is. July 17th, 1955. It's all about the Easter eggs, right, Katie? Do you want to be cool and show your friends that? I'm just, just saying. Just saying. All right, let's go shopping. All right. And always, this first display is usually pretty revealing as to what's going on. We saw this from a distance the other day dashing through the snow. It's a gingerbread Death Star. And I think what's cool about it is it's scented ink. I don't know what it's scented as, gingerbread, but I would it's imagine. scented. Oh yeah, uh, this one here is also scented. Mary Forks be with you. <laughs> oh, is that what it says? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. And I think the coolest thing is, too... Yeah, they have the tags on there. They have the legit cool tags, and, and not just any tag, but a tag that has a, uh, a string of lights on it. You think this would fit me? I think it'll fit perfectly, Spencer. <laughs> That's perfect. Wookiee's cookies. Wookiee's cookies. With milk. Now watch me refold this. Okay, let's see that. Oh, hold on. <laughs> You are quite the folder, my friend. Tim would be proud right now. Yes. Because people Tim. have left them all disheveled, but they fixed the display. That's cute. What is that? Oh, Grogu. Oh, Spencer. How uh, much is he? It's almost like a little pillow. He is uh, $24.99. It's a good deal. Uh, he's got a scarf. His scarf. He's all warm. He's really cozy in his nice little... Uh, yeah, and his Castle ears, pillow? His ears are very perked up. They are very perked up. Well, you know, he maybe caught a glimpse of Santa Claus. Yeah, and then a Grogu stocking. Oh, Grogu. How does he fit in there? I don't know, but joy to the galaxy. It says it's also scented. Everything's scented. Scented ink. Interesting. That's the new thing for this year, I guess. Yeah. Scented ink. That is $29.99 for that. There's the Wookiee. Uh, again, the Wookiee cookie. That's cool. Complete with uh, little gingerbread stars and doodads and Here's the back and whatnot. Part. It has, oh, that's cool. Oh, look at it. More icons. Little yub nub, C3PO, Chewy hanging, like he's doing some, some pull ups. He's or working he's, out. He's putting the lights up. Yeah, he could be doing that. Are you just calling them yub nubs? Well, yeah, because the song is so great. So you're just calling them yub nubs? Yeah, I mean, they okay. are Ewoks. You're just like, you changed the... Wicked would be, he would be cool with that. All right, looks like, speaking of Christmas socks, look They're at that. They're keeping the uh, Wookiee cookie vibe going, aren't they? they yeah. Went, they went full cookie. That they did. Those are cool. Yeah, these are not priced, so there you go. Oh, there's, oh, they're not priced, yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're not priced. Uh, but look at that. We have this pullover sweatshirt, a hoodie kind of thing. I like That's it. That's cute. With a matching uh, stretch pant. Do people buy these just out of curiosity? Like, I've not seen anybody ever purchase them. They feel very comfy. $44.99. I'm just, you know what I'm saying though? Like, have you ever seen people like buy these? Uh, I haven't. Personally, I haven't, but right. apparently they probably do. They must, they feel comfy. Uh, this is... Here, wait. Uh, oh, okay. Here, take it. I want to see what you think. 
It's a Wookie cookie purse. This lounge is fly. the tiniest little lounge fly bag. If I'm gonna buy a bag that's that tiny, I'm gonna spend a money I don't have and get a designer bag. <laughs> I mean, they really, I, I'll say it again, they took the Wookie cookie thing. To the next level. They really did. I mean, that's, it's not for me. How much are they charging? $70. Wow. Okay, all right. Okay, this is weird. It's, it's not in the right place, but okay. This is the what they call the red cards that I collected in the 90s, like about 96. And they brought them back, but this is a way bigger format. Oh. Uh, 50th of, of Lucasfilm, but it's so weird to see it in this giant format. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I have all these. I have boxes and boxes of these. Wow. Uh, 50th of Lucasfilm, yeah. How weird is that? And this is what we saw on display over there, I think, right? It is the same shirt we saw. So it's also scented. Okay. Maybe more peppermint? I don't know. Now we have this shirt, uh, the both of us, the off white. 50s kind of uh, washed out holiday cheer. Love that shirt. Doesn't really fit the Star Trader uh, situation, but it's it's nice nonetheless. Yeah. Look at these cups. This would be a cool gift for Christmas or like the holiday oh, there's, season. There's the final duel right there. Check that out. Look at it, it has all the Star Wars on there. Yep. Wow. Rebels, droids, Sith Lord, Master. This whole set of four is $34.99. All right, and quite possibly one of the coolest things about Star Trader is the fact that the X-Wing, Luke's X-Wing, I'm calling it, I think it is, I'm, I think it's Red 5, is perched just above the floor here, ready to take off. It's not in battle position because the wings are not in the X position, but it's ready to fly. This is bizarre. You've got uh, some ears that have the Rebels and the Empire logo. So it's kind of a, a conflict set of ears. Like, what side are you on? I guess right brain, left brain maybe? I don't know what that is supposed to be, but they have those nonetheless. Here's a couple of shirts I have not seen yet. Actually, I saw a glimpse of this one the other day. I like this, this modern this modern take on a, a t-shirt design. It almost looks like the Mickey is uh, the sun setting on the horizon. And then that's the tones of the sky. Very graphic. Futuristic. The castle is a, it's a nice version of the castle. I like that a lot. And all day, every day, 24/7, 365. Now, this is interesting because I'm not sure how that's possible anymore without an AP. Magic Key doesn't really allow the all day, every day, 24/7, 365. So, who is this shirt really for? I like it. I like the idea, but. Is there a way that we can wear this shirt and actually manifest that sentiment? I don't know. That's a little odd that they're selling that. Can I get the master key when I buy this shirt? I digress. Kind of digging this single rider shirt. Pretty low key, dark gray. That's neat. All right, Star Trader, we're out of here. So I know there was a couple of uh, sets of ears that I believe were sold out. Yeah, there's that, two um, new pairs of Star Wars ears. There's there's Wookiee ears or Chewbacca ears, right? Yeah, and then there's one with uh, lightsabers on it, oh, okay. I believe. Um, and we asked and they said they don't have them in Galaxy's Edge right now either. They're kind of sold out resort-wide, but don't fret when that happens because they will come back. They usually always come back. That's true. So don't panic when we see them. We'll definitely put them in a vlog. I love that the first day of holidays here, it's gonna be 90 degrees. Well, and I said it the other day in the live about Dapper Day. Somebody said, oh, you're gonna do Dapper Day? And I said, oh, I'd love to. I said, but inherently what ends up happening, fall or spring, yeah. the temperatures seem to soar. It just happens to be that way. Which always bums me out for the people that actually take it serious, not right. us. We're, we're like amateur yeah, yeah. dappers. We come and look. But and there's people that take it to that. Dress full-blown turn-of-the-century Main Street look. Yeah. Wool, you know, classic, amazing looks, which I love. Oh, me too. It's but I feel so bad for them and how they have to commit and, and you know, they're suffering heat-wise, I'm sure. Yeah, the only thing is, though, uh, the heat is only around, ironically, for like two days, and then, and it, then comes it goes back away. To being like it's, this, where it's, it's 60. coming just for Dapper Day and Pajama Day, nonetheless. And that's it. Yeah. There's the tree! There's the tree. Katie's first look. Oh my gosh, I mean, I saw it on your live stream. But you haven't seen this in in a while. I'm trying not to get emotional. Oh, that's so sweet. Why is a tree making me cry? Well, it and wasn't there last year. last year. Yeah, and it's been a part of your life for a long time. Aww. It kind of, uh, it sets the tone for the holidays. Yeah. And uh, it's the first thing you see, you know, when you walk in. 
so yeah, That's it's so it's pretty pretty important, I think. There's something so special about uh, the holidays at Disneyland. Yeah, they're there the is. best. They are the best in the world. All right, since we're at this uh, this part of Main Street, the top of the street here. We might as well dip into the Plaza Point Holiday Shop since we haven't featured it yet. We've walked in there without cameras, but I think it's the first time that we're going to get to actually peruse now. Keep in mind, it's very busy in there. Yeah, it's a really small shop and it's very busy and very yeah. packed. Yeah. So just be advised, we're not going to be able to like stop and really take some serious we're time. We're going to give it a, a nice peruse. We'll give it a little perusing. Yeah. Oh, look at the tree and the see the classic lights. I mean, come on. Those are the good lights. And that wreath, oh man, it says it all. I like that the, all the ornaments are, are Mickey's. All of them. And are. some of them are the Jingle Bell versions. Like, jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell ornaments. Red, gold, silver. Silver and gold, silver and gold. But don't forget red or you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't wait to hear where that's this all goes. Oh my god, that's all I got. <laughs> these though look at how cute those are oh the little town salt and pepper shakers oh that's what they are they're very large salt and pepper shakers i think they're like just the cutest darn things you could put those on the table i guess right no does that mean you want them 29.99 before your magic key discount now if we had smell vision uh, it would be very, uh, what, cinnamony in here? Yeah, cinnamon. There's, a, there's a, an overwhelming, overwhelming, as I would normally say, cinnamon vibe. Wow, big ornaments. I always get my lights. Oh, Katie with her lights. Them. Oh my waiting. gosh. I've been waiting. I won't even They're turn peppermint them on. They're peppermint this year. Yeah, these are actually better. Seems like they change them every year, right? Yep. These are a staple. Check out these two scamps with their little dog, enjoying the Christmas holiday. Okay, I am so into this cookie jar. It's Chippendales. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at classic. Making oh, me. she's got some goggles on. Well, she just hit the slopes. Yeah, yeah, she did. Oh my gosh, is this not the most adorable thing? It's pretty amazing. How much are they asking for that? That is fifty-four ninety-nine. Look at Goof. That is so He's very cute. proud of his snowman that he created there. Oh boy. I don't think Katie saw these, but they're like little reindeer mugs. Here's my favorite part about this shop is the the upper portion of the garland decorations and the lights and the ornaments. Look at how awesome that looks. And I think it's maybe the wallpaper that really sets it off because it's that old school look. There's the wreath. That's a cute wreath. They do this one every year, but this one's a little bit different. $49.99 for that sucker. Yeah. That's pretty darn cute. They have ears that are uh, wreath ears coming out Did soon. They? They're in Walt Disney World now, but hopefully they'll be here soon. Look at this new pillow we found. At first I thought it said stay crazy. Hey. <laughs> so I was I like, yeah, you should probably get that, that one, huh? yeah. That's cute, huh? Look at on the back, it's got like Tinkerbell. Oh yeah. And Minnie and Mickey kissing. It's cool. It is $39.99 for that adorable little throw pillow. And then yeah, basically the rest of the store is a lot of ornaments, all different kinds, sizes, types, and then that classic Christmas tree up there that is kind of the epitome of a turn of the century tree right there. I love that. And as we uh, come into the, almost the transition hallway into China Closet, basically, because there's China Closet there, it's a little bit of an extension of the holiday shop because they've got these uh, stockings right here. Yeah, the Mickey and the Minnie, which yeah. we showed in our first yeah. merch search, but I don't think we showed this, this musical figurine. That's cool. That's definitely new. Yeah. That is so cute, huh? Yeah. Here's that sound I dislike very much, but what is that? <laughs> what, the sound of, uh, you I, yeah. don't like that sound? It, yeah. It, it, it very much bothers me. Well, I was just Which thinking. is, it's one of the reasons, I'll be, this is completely off the subject, but I'm gonna let you in on a little thing, and I've told you this before. One of the reasons I don't like going to the movies is hearing the sound of people opening candy and you don't packages like that sound? and stuff while I'm trying to watch a movie. It bugs me to no end. Now, I'm very lucky that I'm in the Directors Guild of America and I get to go to screenings where you're not allowed to eat. And I love it because it's purely about the film that you're watching and you know. I love eating that sound, snacks. That sound is 
like nails on a chalkboard to me. You know what sound I don't like? The sound of the uh, scraping of a yogurt cup at all. It bothers me. So I get what you're yeah. saying. But regardless. Yeah. It's don't, you don't have to. It, you now see, now you're doing that on purpose. <laughs> they always come out with like a decorative mixing bowl. Okay. And some like cookie cutters, a whisk, and a like a spatula type thing. Yeah. Uh, so they came out with one this year with this print and it is $39.99 for that. A great gift to give to people. And they have all the characters. Yeah. Isn't that adorable? It's funny because the um, the paper that's in there, the shredded paper, almost looked like pasta. I was like, oh, is this a pasta bowl? Oh, to me it looked like a dough or cookie dough. Oh yeah, batter. no, I saw pasta. I think this is really cute too. This is a light up figurine. We didn't see that. Ice skating. That's definitely new. Oh, they're the cat's meow. They sure are. Look at this cute apron. I want this apron so bad. Oh boy. They also have the little dish towels to match. There you go. So if you're doing holiday baking, um, hello, you need to get these. <laughs> and then this, uh, this is a wreath right here that's really cool. This is a wreath that we are getting because it's cute and it's like my favorite collection ever. It's I almost like, it. uh, it's like that box hedge uh, so plant, cute. you know, the, the small little round leaves. This is like the most perfect wreath ever. I love it. $59.99. And look at this adorable throw. I love this just because it has that subtle Mickey in it. It's a tuft throw. So it's this right here. Oh, look at how soft and nice it is. Look at this cute floor mat. Boom. Oh, different franchise, sorry. Oh boy. Wrong company. <laughs> we also have a matching table runner. Yeah, they've taken the, the, the old pillow, which the we old have, pillow. and expanded on the idea. They sure did. Look at this big mug. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? It's got hipster Mickey, partner statue. It's got all the park icons. Interesting color, huh? Oh, I love it. It is an interesting color. It reminds me of Polkadot's Tree of Life. See what it says inside? No. Mickey's coffee. Oh, it's because it's his coffee. That is so cute. Now, there's a Marie face mug. They've done these in different characters over the years. If you do it just right, it looks like Katie, when she's sipping, is half Marie. All right, we came outside. And I just wanted to show the porch, well, above the porch, the palm parlor as it's called now. The old Wizard of Bras has some nice, nice holiday decor with a little light hitting it right now. Just thought I'd show it. The porch is looking festive. It's too bad they don't put anything on the lower portion of it, but that's that's what they got going. Ah, uh, it's five after four according to Disneyland Standard Time Citizen Clock in Main Street, USA. Okay, the next store we're going to go into is called Castle Brothers, which kind of is connected to Clothiers. Yeah. Uh, it's right next to the China Closet Shop and, and Crystal, Crystal Arts. Arts. Yeah. So uh, let's go into the old Castle Brothers shop. There is so much new stuff in this store. I always like this store. This it's one I one like. It's one of my favorites. Starting off right here, this loungewear. Look at that. Those are cool. Nice like jogger kind of style pants. $89.99. I could really be in the nice. marching band with those. That you could. <laughs> um, and then look at these cute new... Oh, wow. How cute these are. I love this That shirt. Donald Duck one with the pocket. Isn't that cute? Is that actually stitched on there? It yeah, is. Oh, my gosh. Because usually they have the higher-end merchandise in here. Look at that. This is $36.99. I'm That's surprised. a good deal for that shirt. Yeah, and it's like a nice, thick... And it's, it's kind of an old-school Donald wow. as well. That's a good shirt. I could see you wearing yeah, that. Yeah, that green is... It's awesome. Great color. So Goofy's, Goofy's buddy, uh, Pete. Peg leg Pete. <laughs> it is uh, thirty six ninety nine for that. Also very thick shirt. Ringer I would, tea. I would like it, but it's just the ringer isn't, I know. isn't my tea there. Me as well. Wow, this is cool. Oh yeah, nice little basic jean jacket. Look at, look at old school Mick there. And it's not super tough and it's not super thick. And I love how they have Mickey's on the actual buttons. That's that pretty a, nice. That's a good touch. It's a good jacket. It's, it's got a heavy weight to it. And when we turn it around, look at that. Look at him. The one and only. Look at his nose, it's kind of scrunched. It's so cute. It looks kind of old school, Mickey. Yeah, it does. These are definitely new. Following along with the, the one and only theme. Again, stitched on there like that. Okay, that is adorable. What does it say here? Look at how washed out it is. That's awesome. 1928. Oh yeah, the 28 on the sleeve. That is so cute. What a 
What an adorable pullover. That is $59.99. Dang. So cute. I love the like faded color on there. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. This is also new for the holidays. Yeah, it is. Look at that. That's pretty cute. That is $59.99 for that sweatshirt. Winter Mick. Yeah, kind of pullover. And look, did you notice his... Oh, it's fuzzy. Yeah. Wow. That is interesting. It's like a hook hook, hook rug. What do they call those? Uh, Pull hook yeah. rug, whatever they, you know. $64.99 for that. Very fuzzy, very thick. I would look like the abominable yeah, that's, if I wore that. That's very balloony. For me, it would not be flattering. <laughs> if you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. Okay, Grease. <laughs> that's cute. It is. Athletic Mickey Mouse, and it's kind of got some stripes on there. I feel like Henry would like this, my stepdad. It's a good color. It is $39.99. Is that a Nike hat? It is. It is a Nike one. It's a unisex. A little Nike collab there. That's a cute hat. Yeah. I love the color. It's very vibrant. Hey, look. Here's another uh, jean jacket. This time with the Disneyland stitched on there. Look at the back. Dude, that is just for that right there. Because the, the front, I'm not too jazzed on, but that. The back is the best. Oh my gosh. Wicked. Instead of Mickey on the buttons, it says Disney on the buttons there. And that one's $79.99. More like a, a heavy denim shirt as opposed to a jacket. Like the other one was thicker. Another one of those uh, fuzzy things. But wait, there's more. Yeah, those are a little, uh, I don't know about those. I kind of like them. I just don't think I'd like them on me. Yeah, and we made the crossover into Disney Clothiers, the last shop in this section. I found more fluffies. Oh wow, they did a whole series of these. Wow. I guess they really thought this was going to catch it. Maybe it will, I don't know. I think it might. This one's interesting with the oh, Disneyland logo. If I was going to get one, I would like them. Yeah, apparently according to this, uh, according to Slinky Dog, it's sweater weather. Oh, Slink. This almost feels like a spirit jersey. It's like the cut of a spirit jersey. But it's jersey. way thinner. Well, it's like a, no, no, I mean the cut. Oh. But the, the material is more of a very thin, like a waffle, yeah, I don't know. They need it's, to put him in a sweater, his ride vehicle in a sweater. I know, that would be time so cool. Somehow. What about me? Well, <laughs> why doesn't he dress up like that? He's got hot cocoa. That would be genius. Oh, Look yeah. Like the St. Bernard's carry the, uh, yeah. the Pluto, whiskey. Pluto can do it, too. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to have reindeer ears. I know, right? Uh, Merry Christmas when he's, you know, out meeting and greeting people. Because he doesn't really have a Christmas outfit. I know. Did you notice that? I mean, maybe we just haven't noticed. No, I looked at him yesterday. Oh, okay. He did not have a Christmas outfit. Well, Even yeah. his collar had no, uh, nothing, you know, signifying yeah. the holidays. They need to put reindeer ears on him. That's a simple fix. It won't cost a lot of money. I'm just saying. Okay, look at this cute, why can't this be an adult? Maybe this is, yeah, okay. I thought for a split second it was maybe an adult size, but it's not. No. This is a cute little kid's top. Kind of off-white. Ugh, oh, cute that is. Look at the sleeves. Adorable. And then they also have these cute little leggings. Look how adorable these are. The leggings are $29.99. And this cute little blouse top is $44.99. Okay, I found some new items. We have these cute new ears. I think they're supposed to be like cookies. Oh, they? yeah. They're pretty cute. Sugar cookies. I wish they had a bow, but I do like them. I like the candy cane stripe kind of uh, a little popular thing. And look yeah. at those. They have Santa hats on them and sprinkles. Those are cute. Again, I always said that they should make these actually edible, oh, an edible version. Oh, Spencer. Dual purpose, end of the night, you get to eat them. And check out this new spirit jersey. This is actually a really nice spirit jersey because it's thicker. Yeah. It's not like a, a thin thing and it's got soft embossed That's Mickey cool. heads on That's it. That's very different. The material uh, yeah. is very different. It's both, actually a sweater both on, both, on both sides. Yeah. And uh, it's a sparkly Disneyland print on it. Now this is running for $84.99. It's quite expensive, but I will tell you, at least before washing it and feeling it right now, it's pretty soft. Yeah, it's very different from the other ones as far as the materials and yeah. everything, yeah. And over here we have a holiday lounge fly bag. Now I don't buy a lot of these or collect them because they're just a little too tiny. <laughs> I need a lot of stuff. But if I was gonna buy a Christmas one, I think I would actually purchase this one. It is so cute. It has all of the holiday icons on it, especially my favorite, Small World. 
I mean, look at all this stuff. Doesn't it just give you Christmas and holiday vibes? Oh yeah. It is so cute. And they're charging 75 for that one. And look how nice this is for the holidays. It's just a- uh, Very basic. A plain, just simple. And it's just the color. I mean, that's great. Remember when all the spirit jerseys were just that? <laughs> that's what I like. I, I mean, I do like the fun ones, don't get me wrong, but yeah. I think this original simplistic spirit jersey is just nice. That's what made them uh, popular was, was what, this, this style right here. That's what put them on the map. Yes. All right, leaving. Who's ready? Ready to cross, cross the street, street. So, oh, you know what? It's mellowed out a little. When we, when we were first over here, it was so crazy. It was almost like there was this surge of people coming in or something. I don't know what it was. Right, yeah. You but know what I think it go is, Go now, though. go now, go now. You know what I think it was? It's the parade that ended. The parade? Yeah, yeah well, not parade. Um, like the cavalcade with the band. Oh. So I think it just made a surge a little bit. Got it. And there is the Holiday Train, but this year, it's the Holiday Lodge Railroad. Walt's Holiday Lodge Railroad, and it says 2021 on it, as Katie had noticed. Oh, look at it, it actually says Walt's Holiday Lodge. Yeah, there it is. How bad do you want these? It's pretty cool. Um, 38 piece set. 38 piece set, yeah, it's, it's a little pricey, but you know. That's the one reason you don't want it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a practical type of person, but you know what's cool about it? You still want it, though, huh? What's cool about it is that it's a Lionel train. Lionel trains are classic, that's what my my parents and grandparents they all had Lionel trains and those were these are like the classic yeah. model trains. Lionels go way back. Did I mention that we were in the Emporium? We have now made it to the Emporium, where if you don't look up, you don't notice some of the finer details of the Emporium. The little scenes, the little dioramas that are happening. There's one over there as well, the barber shop with the creepy looking barber that. <laughs> He always reminds me of Clint Eastwood from like either Escape from Alcatraz, Clint Eastwood. I would say that's probably a proper representation. How cute is this little magnet? Oh, that's cool. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. I love that. It is purple. I love that. So for the cost of purple, you can get it too. Where is there a? Uh, no, there's the diagram. not. They don't put the diagrams looked. up anymore for, for they the They do, the but I just are. couldn't find it. I've looked everywhere. But look at how cute this is. Look at this pajama set. We've got a massive onesie. Yeah. That I wouldn't be caught dead in. And I think the hood has ears on it. Oh. Yeah. Confirmed ears and, and a could be, peppermint liner. That could be yours for $64.99. Yeah. I personally would take this set. Yeah. Which I really love. That's so cute. Yeah, same pattern as the uh, onesie. The only thing is, it's not very soft. Yeah. Um, it is $54.99 for the pants and the shirt. It all, all right. comes together. And then they have just this little. Sugar and of, spice. Yeah, nightgown. This is. $34.99. All right, more Holiday Lodge graphics. I like this one. HL, the old Holiday Lodge. Look at Goofy, he looks a little perplexed as to the ball of, of lights that are knotted up. He's like, how am I gonna deal with this? Donald, clearly perturbed. Things are stuck under the rug. Minnie's just, she's all good. She's having a ball with the popcorn. Uh, she has no, no issues at all, neither. Neither did Chip and Dale. They're just hanging out in the tree where they normally hang out. Hold the phones. The peppermint bark is in. Oh no. It's here. Peppermint Katie. You may know, you may have heard of Peppermint Patty. You haven't met Peppermint Katie. Yet. Yeah. She loves this peppermint bark. That's true. This peppermint bark is so good. How much oh, is a tin of that? $17.99. All right. And we have the uh, multi chocolate bar pack. I like that it makes one picture. Yeah, they, they've been doing that with a lot of the, you know, the Disney Oh yeah, you've bar. got eggnog, you've got milk chocolate marshmallow, dark chocolate sea salt, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate peppermint crunch. Which one would you eat? Let me guess. I'm gonna take a guess. I guess you would have milk chocolate. Milk chocolate marshmallow. All right, check this out. All the lights on the trees of Main Street are lit, including the tree. Look at that. That is pretty amazing. I didn't think they were gonna light that until the 12th, but if you look down Main Street, check that out. Just before dark, 
Main Street is lit. All the garlands are lit up. Look at this. That's pretty crazy. The tree is lit up, but I think it's not doing its full like sparkle effect. Wait, right, there's another layer that I happens. I think there is. I'm 90% I'm sure. Yeah. Let's take a closer look at the tree and when it's actually lit. It's you know what it is? It's the color of the bulbs that has such a a classic look to it. That turn of the century tone, very warm tone with the uh, the yellow lights and the green and the red. But the yellow kind of dominates it, gives it that warm look. And the star up top is lit. Pretty amazing. And then one of my favorite parts of this tree are the candles. They look so cool. How they flicker. Look at this, up close and personal. Oh yeah. All right, well that's gonna wrap it up for the more holiday merch search at Disneyland. Yeah, there was a, a ton of new stuff. There was. Lots of holiday stuff. Um, just fantastic, good stuff for winter. So if you're coming, uh, these are some of the things I would definitely grab. Some yeah. of these things you can get on Shop Disney. That's true. Uh, we also recommend going to World of Disney and Downtown oh, yeah. Disney. They, if you can't for some reason get into the parks, as we know, reservations are kind of crazy if yeah. you're a magic key holder. That's true. Go over to World of Disney. You will not be disappointed. World of Disney. World of Disney. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.